the community giving thanks to local law enforcement. I just want you to know as a community we have you back. But the Back the Blue event didn't have the same meaning to everyone. A planned anti-Muslim hate rally um, that unfortunately was going to take place here this morning. Oregon Action's Michelle Glass says initially, Back the Blue is part of the global rally for humanity protests against Islam. She gave News 10 screenshots of the group's first Facebook page. What she saw here inspired her to organize a counter rally. Glass says once Unite Against Hate was on, the Facebook page for the original event transformed. We watched that page evolve. Those videos and photos were deleted and the page uh, description was changed to say that it was now just a pro-law enforcement rally. I spoke with the organizer of Back the Blue event, Patrick Leiser. Do you have any affiliation with the Global Rally for Humanity? No, I have no affiliation with any organization. But his wife, Paulina Leiser, explained the miscommunication. Global Rally for Humanity wanted to host a pro-law enforcement event in Medford. So Patrick and I, and I think a lot of others, uh, said we would go to something like this. That's when the Lizers found out the group is anti-Muslim. While we still wanted to support our law enforcement, we didn't want to associate, be associated with a hate group. The couple says it asked to have its event removed from the national organization's map. The Lizers say Saturday was all about supporting law enforcement. As for the Unite Against Hate event, Glass says though the global rally for humanity in Medford was stopped, there's still work to be done. We're also calling on community leaders to publicly affirm that everyone in our community is welcome, everyone in our community is deserving of respect and equal protection.